Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's May 14th, uh, 2020. It's a Thursday. Okay, and we're, uh, I don't know, approximately, did I say May 14th? Yeah, May 14th. So that means St. Patrick's Day was March 14th. So that's been about 30 days now since we've been locked in our apart in our apartments or your home or wherever you may be. Or if you're living off the grid, where most of us should be. <laughs> That's exactly what we should be doing. A couple of updates here in New York. Of course, our uh, asshole politicians uh, want to shut down until like June, but it's not happening. I think we're probably going to roll it out at the end of May, I believe. But as I drive around, I mean, I'm, you know, hey, look, it, it's probably... 30% more traffic on the road in the last week than, than I've seen. So people are going somewhere. They're, you know, I don't know what they're doing or where they're going. All right, but this whole thing, this whole lie has faced a lot of businesses' opportunities now. You know, and I never, oh, you see now, that this is great. The chemtrails have been non-existent for the last, I, I would say, seven days here. I should have I should have pre-recorded some footage. Puffy white clouds. Now they're back. After days of, of no chemtrails at all whatsoever. Those the chemtrails, yeah, that, that would be the lines in the sky. Yeah, yeah, no, those aren't natural clouds. Okay, that go from horizon to horizon. And they stay there for a couple of hours. And then they expand. Those are chemtrails. Just an update for people who think contrails and chemtrails are the same thing. Well, they're not. Anyway. Businesses don't need people to go to work. You don't need to sit in an office behind a phone in front of a computer when you can do the same thing in your house. Let's see how many businesses actually wake the fuck up. Okay? And say, why do we have these huge buildings down in the city when we could just be doing this in the privacy of our, our own home via Zoom. It's great. <laughs> Same with school. Although I believe a child should be in a classroom interacting with other children. That's important. Um, and how, how are they going to open up these schools now? How, how are they going to do this? All right, private schools are going to be different because they're going to be under their own laws. But, but the public schools, how, how, how are the public schools actually going to be able to function with this social distancing and the face masks and the fucking gloves and all of this shit they've frightened everybody to a point where they can't even leave their house <laughs> they're afraid to go out and if you go out just go out for a short period of time maybe just to go shopping or maybe something like that but get home quickly stay at home don't go out if you have a terrace stay out there for short brief moments and then come back inside, because whatever you're breathing out there, I'm sure it's got this, the virus in it. If you're walking your dog, wear your mask. If you're walking in a park, wear your mask. How are they gonna, how are schools gonna function? Huh? How are they gonna function? There's no way. There's no way. They're gonna have to just wrap this up and say, you know what, everything is fine. You don't need to wear a uh, face mask anymore. How many people are actually going to stop wearing them? That's my question. <laughs> How many people are going to stop wearing them? I, 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 I think these trained rats might as well just walk outside every day now with a face mask. Hell, God knows what, the, what, what you're breathing in. Don't get any fresh air in your, uh, in your head. Don't breathe any oxygen in your head. Breathe your own oxygen. That's smart. That's what a face mask does. It depletes the oxygen going to your brain. But most people don't have a brain, so I don't think they're really missing out on anything. Because how 97% of the population can voluntarily wear face masks. All the stores required here in New York. You are not allowed in a store, supermarket, or anywhere without a face mask. You have to have one on. They won't let you in. Is that a law? No, but they make it a law, and people people buy it. In the Constitution, you are not required to wear anything. 
and half the people who have asthma or other medical problems can't wear them. What happens to them? They're not allowed to go shopping? My ass. Okay? Every constitutional right has been broken. For us here in, in, in my country, at least. And nobody's saying anything. The politicians have destroyed lives, businesses. But they say, yet, New York's strong. We'll get through this. We'll get through this? I'm sorry. You're the people who destroyed us. <laughs> we had nothing to do with it. We didn't ask for this. Okay. The event. There's three things. One, a new world order. What that may be, I have no idea. Forced vaccinations? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay, you can't force somebody to take a vaccination. Okay? I drove through the Hasidic community in Rockland County the other day. It's in uh, Muncie, New York. They're all in school. You were to drive down that street, it felt like a regular day. Businesses are open. You know, all the schools are open in Muncie, New York. They don't give a shit. And nobody's saying anything to them. Here in New York right now, people have had enough. Okay? They've had it. They, they, they've had it. They're starting to open up their businesses. It's like speakeasy. Remember those back in the 20s? That's what they forced us to do. You know, shh, 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 shh. that bar is open down the street. Don't say a word, though. Lights off, you know. Oh, one little light at the bar. <laughs> Drinks. Five people there just drinking. That's that's what they used to call. That's what they forced us to do. Okay, new world order. People can't, look. They, they they can't force vaccinations on people. You've got billions. Uh, I mean, you've got about a billion Catholics out there. Okay, who just won't conform to it. All right. Another possibility with the event is Flat Earth, you know. Um, flat Earth definitely had something to do with this. I can't believe they could just wrap this up, though. There's got to be something else. They just, they can't just wrap this up and say it's all over, you know. There's this Kawasaki disease that's down in, in, in New York City right now that supposedly killed three infants. My ass. All right, you don't know anything about these infants. You don't know if they had any pre-existing problems or anything like that. You just listen to what the media says to you. It's a joke. It really is. It's an absolute, utter crime. Fucking crime. Or, there quite possibly could be a second wave. Now, are people going to buy that? Are they going to reopen everything and then lie to everybody and say the virus is back, Kawasaki is back, your children are in danger now? You know, I mean, it's just so much shit that is out there that they can do now. That they've seen what the population and how stupid they are. And that they'll buy anything. Anything. Pretty much, that they say right now. I mean, hell, everybody believes we went to the fucking moon. <laughs> they believe we're going to Mars. How's that Mars trip going, huh? Did you sign up for it? I hope you did. I hope you got your front row seats for that one. That should be great. And where's Elon Musk now? You don't see much of him anymore. Where, where is he? He, he? he was blasting rockets off every, every day, wasn't he? He's doing an amazing uh, fireworks display for us. Where is he? I don't see him anymore. Where's NDT? Where, where's, where's, where's he? He should be talking about this. You know, it's amazing how many people in the last month have just disappeared. And these professors and, and these doctors that crawl out of the woodwork that... This one guy, I mean, he, he sounds so bad. I, I forgot what his name is. Search for me or something. I don't know what the fuck it is. Val Dub, who the hell knows? It sounds like he's got fucking throat cancer, man. I mean, Jesus. What the hell did you do when you were younger? They can do whatever they want. People will buy it. You gotta wake up. 
You really do. You really do. I mean, this is... It, it's, it's, it's coming down now. I mean, it's, it's... They've got to roll it out. Now, I heard of other places... The, the reason why this happened... This is going on right now, too, is uh, the depletion of fuel. Which would very well make sense, because we have been abusing that like you wouldn't believe. Cars are bigger. I, I mean... Machines are bigger. We've done nothing. I've I said a hundred times there has been absolutely no change to the vehicle at all whatsoever in a hundred years. None. Absolutely nothing. The combustible engine is exactly the same way as it was 100 years ago. Okay? The creator probably gave us enough fuel here for a couple hundred years. 300 years. But we can't make fuel. That's the thing. We can't make oil. I'm not even going to get into how oil's made and, and over millions of years, which is total bullshit, okay? But anyway, look, forget about that. That's a totally different video. So those are my three ideas. Other than that, I don't know what else is going on in terms of what, what, what event's happening and, and, and what they're planning on doing. Okay, Bill Gates is a puppet. He's there right now to confuse you, okay? Um, he's not going to do shit, okay? He... he, he He's probably part, partly responsible for these chemtrails. Probably, actually not partly. He's the one who's making these chemtrails, for crying out loud, I'm sure. Giving the okay on it, funding it. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's a few more things I wanted to talk about, but I'll get into it tomorrow. All right. I uh, thank you for stopping and thank you for viewing my videos. and Let me be a part of your life.